Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with my favorite small town romances. I don't think I've ever filmed a video like this on my channel. I don't really read too many small town romances, but I recently read one that is coming out this Thursday. Today, hopefully, is what I'm posting this, and that is... On the Rocks by Candy Steiner. I wanted to make this video because first I just finished reading this and I loved it and it just reminded me how much I love small town romances and how like a lot of your decisions are affected by how the town feels about you and everybody gossips in the town and you gotta think about your reputation and I am all for it. And so this one is by Katie Steiner. It's her newest release. It is takes place in the small town of Stratford, Tennessee. And this one is about Ruby Grace who has just returned from college and she is preparing her wedding to a politician who's 25 and she's 19. And is she's kind of been born and bred to be the politician's wife. That's her father is the mayor of the town and so everybody thinks that she's going to be the perfect politician's wife. And then she is going to buy a whiskey barrel for her future husband and meets Noah Becker. Noah's 28 years old and he loves his whiskey. He is a w barrel maker so he's really good at what he does. It's been in the family business for a while. Some things happen though with family drama. It's not a small town without family drama. Ruby Grace ends up actually becoming friends with Noah even though he kind of sees her as stuck up and like preppy. She shows him her true colors. They become friends and up romance blossoms though she does have a fiance. It's really cute. I love the small town feel. I love how Ruby Grace really felt the repercussions of her actions because of she's living in a small town and it was so good. I gave it five out of five stars. You all need to pick it up right now because it's on sale right now so go check it out. The next one I'm pretty sure takes place in a small town and that is Say You'll Say by Corinne Michaels. The main character, she has two sons and her husband recently experienced a tragedy so she has to move back home and she kind of falls in love with someone on a ranch <laughs> and it's really cute. It's very quintessential southern romance. This is a really cute, really heartbreaking, heartwarming romance. This is also a second chance romance and so it's her second chance of having this romance with this guy that she left behind before she got married to her uh, husband and it's really, really good. The next three I have are in series but the first one I have is the Hope series by JC Burton or Jackie Burton. I don't know how to say her first name but this is book seven in the series. I didn't feel like all going all the way down to grabbing book one. I think I've read the first six in this series. They all take place in Hope, Oklahoma. So a lot of small town romances take place in those kind of like country states. Not saying all of Oklahoma is country, but when you think about it, you think o Oklahoma. Okay. And so they're all super adorable. I read them a long time ago when they came out, so it's a little fuzzy on the romances, but I remember them being super cute. All the characters are really more towards their late 20s, early 30s, which I really appreciate. I do like myself. Characters who... Um, are out of college and have their mostly have their lives together and know what they're doing and so I really like this and I love this series. I'm going to say uh, the next series I read while I was in college. That was a long time ago but I loved it and that is the Colorado Mountain series by Chris Nashley. Again I think this is book six in the series, book five. Um, the rest are up there and they go by like first up to through the series and I did not feel like getting number one down but I honestly can't really remember what this series is about but I remember it being really really good and these have such high ratings on Goodreads. Everybody loves them when they think of Kristen Ashley they can think of this series and some of her other series but this is one of her well-known series. It is small town and I really remember enjoying it. If you're interested go check them out on Goodreads because I can't tell you the synopsis. The first one's The Gamble and I read through all of them while I was in college and I love them. They're pretty chunky books. Like this is the shortest book in the series so check them out. The next series is by Samantha Young and that is the Heart Boardwalk series. The first one is the one real thing and then we have every little thing and I believe she just published on her own book three in the series. So these two are with Berkeley and I think she self-published a third one which I haven't read yet and I believe it just came out. These are more, I think they're, it's like a beach town and the first one is this doctor comes into town. She's trying to figure out uh, the owner of these letters. She found at a women's correction facility and to seeing if this person ever received the letter or not and so she goes to find out and she runs into this guy who's divorced who owns a pub on the boardwalk and it's their romance. This one was one I was really excited for because it was hinted at in book one and it is a hate to love romance between a guy who's I believe he's building a um inn or a hotel and he's kind of like the outsider she I believe owns an inn it's a little fuzzy it's been a while since I read these but they're really really great seaside town small town romances and I really enjoyed them 
the next series, I've only read book one, but I really want to read the rest, and that is the Alabama Summer Series with Where I Belong First by Jay Daniels. This is about a girl who is coming back into town um, after being gone for a while, and she hooks up with a guy she meets at a bar, and then she goes uh, to her best friend's house, and she figures out that the guy she hooked up with is actually her best friend's older brother who was the bane of her existence when they were children. So it's kind of an enemies to lovers. Ben Kelly is determined to show her he is serious about her and not the same boy from before, and he's a cop which I love that trope and it's super cute super fun they live in Alabama like you can't get more southern small town than with this series and I loved it the last book I have to share with you is Archer's Voice by Mita Sheridan this one's actually a standalone and it takes place in a small town where Archer lives and he's kind of like the outcast and nobody wants to get close to him he's kind of like a recluse kind of thing and there's lots of rumors going out about him and his past and then this girl moves into town and she is actually one who befriends Archer despite what everybody says and it's their romance and it's very heartwarming and I really need to reread it because like I said about every other book in this uh, video it's been a very long time since I read this but I remember certain scenes that are so heartbreaking and so good and I really love our main character in here I think it's been at least two or three years since I've read this so want to give it a reread this is the published version with um forever romance she did self-publish it originally so I read it when it was self-published before it was traditionally published but it's so good and the small town vibes really affect the plot line and how the characters are seen by other people so I loved it and those are some small town recommendations for you guys let me know down below if you enjoy small town romances and what your favorites are I would love to know as always thank you so much for watching have a good day bye